there are three bones um, incorporated in the shoulder um, complex here. So you have your humerus, which is your upper arm bone, your um, clavicle here, or your collarbone, and your scapula in the back, or your shoulder blade. And that comprises of three joints. Your glenohumeral joint. <laughs> Lindsay's saying hi, Pago. I've got my yoga dog right here. <laughs> so the glenohumeral joint is a ball and socket joint. So you can see this is the ball of the humerus, and it fits in nicely on this um, place on your scapula. So that's why you can roll your shoulder around in every direction. Um, and then, so three joints, sort of four. The three main joints are the glenohumeral, um, the acromioclavicular, right here, and the sternoclavicular, where the clavicle meets the sternum. And then the fourth joint is not really a true joint, but it's your um, scapulothoracic joint. So it's where your scapula moves along your, your um, rib cage. Um, let's see, there's many injuries you can get in your shoulder. You might have heard of rotator cuff tear. That's kind of a tear of, all, of one of the muscles in the rotator cuff. Um, there's a frozen shoulder where the capsule gets really tight. Um, frozen so you can't move your shoulder very far um, there's instability so like I have really unstable shoulders um, and that can lead to dislocation and there's plenty more but yoga can help you maintain the health of your shoulders <laughs>